Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm going to make a Yorkshire pudding pork pie. The first thing you're going to need is a decent casserole dish with about three or four tablespoons of oil in it. And I'm going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees and let this heat up. Okay, what you're going to need is a cup of flour with a half a teaspoon of salt, a cup of milk, a half a cup of chicken broth or the broth of your choice, um, about a cup of diced onion, a tablespoon of potato starch or tapioca starch or corn starch, whatever floats your boat. And here I have a two cup jar of my cubed pork and broth. If you don't have this, use cubed meat of your choice to and fry it up and up your extra broth to a full cup all right let's get started okay first of all i'm going to put some avocado oil in the bottom of my frying pan here and i am just going to drop my onions in there and we're just going to lightly we want them to be sauteed because our canned pork, or our jarred pork, is actually cooked. If it wasn't, if you're using fresh meat, then by all means throw it in here with your onions. Now I'm just going to take my cubed pork with the broth and just let that lightly heat up in the pan. While that heats up, we're going to get on with our Yorkshire pudding. Okay, this is really easy. We're going to take our milk and our flour and salt and our four eggs and we are going to beat the bejeebers out of them until it cries uncle. And we're just going to let that sit for a minute. Now we're going to take our half a cup of broth and our tablespoon of starch. And your broth has to be cold, folks, okay? It has to be cold or it'll get lumpy. Now we're just going to stir this right in here. And just for color, I'm going to use just a tad of, well, my last tad, obviously, of Bragg certified non-GMO soy sauce and we're just now going to cook this until it thickens up which won't take long now the reason we put our casserole dish in the oven was to heat the oil up so that when we pour the Yorkshire pudding in it literally cooks the bottom Now, I've never done this before, folks, so you're along for the experiment. And we can shut that off, and let's get our Yorkshire pudding dish out of the oven. And that oil is doing exactly what it's supposed to be, snap, crackling, and popping. We're going to take our Yorkshire pudding, and we're going to pour that right into the oil. Can you hear that? Now, as, I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually cooking up around the edges and on the bottom. So now, we're going to take our pork and onions and gravy and broth, and we're just going to pour this right into the center of our Yorkshire pudding. We're not going to shake it or anything, we're just going to put it in the oven, just like that. And if I hope this does what it does, the Yorkshire pudding is going to cook up around the meat. That is now in the oven for 20 minutes to 25 minutes at 400 degrees. We'll see you when it comes out of the oven. Okay, the timer's gone off. Let's see what our Yorkshire pudding pork pie looks like. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that 
isn't that it's indescribably beautiful just look at that oh my goodness I can't wait for Papa to get home I'm gonna heat up some green beans to go with this and then we'll see you guys at the dinner table this <laughs> is Yorkshire pudding pork pie You're kidding. No. It's hot. Yeah, be careful. It's hot. Hmm. Very tasty. It's like Sunday dinner in a casserole. Mm -hmm. There you have it, folks. Yorkshire pudding, pork pie. You saw it here first. Take care. Bye-bye.